Maggie, chasing a story down the shore about a police dog that turned on his handler. What happened? Right. So I chased the story down to Ventnor, the town next to Atlantic City, and I first spoke to the chief of police who told me that Ventnor police officer Jamie Perchio is now on medical leave after being attacked by her canine partner, Nico. Wow. She suffered injuries to her legs, arms, and hands and was treated immediately. She had same-day surgery after this attack. Now, the chief told me that the canine, Nico, will absolutely not return to the force. That dog's uh, service uh, to the agency will, will not continue and uh, will get a replacement. Now, the incident was reported to have occurred while Officer Perchio was feeding her dog. The chief equates this attack to unforeseen aggression. I have to attribute the incident to a psychological problem with the dog. Uh, it appears that the officer, the handler, did everything uh, correctly. So next my way over towards Officer Perchio's home in Northfield. I spoke to her neighbor, who's a retired police officer, Bob Webb. Well, the dog just grabbed her. Uh, it was an unusual situation. Uh, she's a canine officer, and the uh, dog just uh, got at her. Next, I wanted some insight into how canine officers are trained. I spoke with my uncle. He's a former police chief and number one canine officer in the country who trains dogs here in New Jersey. Stupid! Heal! The most important thing is choosing the right person to handle a dog, choosing the right dog. The dog's got to be social, has the right drives to, to make it through training. Meg, do they think this was a lack of training on the part of the dog or the owner, or was this just a terrible accident because, uh, well, it's an animal? Well, it's yet to be determined, but it's it's the chief of police's option to take that dog right off the force. Now, Ventner had never had a canine officer on their force until this past year because Ventner, very close to Atlantic City, what are canines best for? Best for sniffing out drug issues. Meg, is there any concern about these programs going forward? I mean, canine officers in a lot of ways have more autonomy than human officers. They chase people down. You're counting on the fact that they're not going to overreact or, as they said, unforeseen aggression when they actually catch them. So are they worried about this going forward? That's why today I went to get the first-hand experience from a well-known trainer here in New Jersey. When they are trained well, they're the officer's best friend. It seems like this is a very rare occurrence. That, that out of I don't know how many police dogs are in service in New Jersey, but I would have to believe the numbers are in the thousands across the tri-state area, and I would have to believe that this is an incredibly rare thing to happen. Meg, what kind, of, what kind of dog is it? It's a Belgian Melanois. Okay. A be it's a Belgian waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs>